Let's begin in a traditional child's pose. Slide your hips back onto your heels and take your arms down by your sides, palms facing up, and just rest. Soften the muscles in your face through your jaw. Notice all the places where you can feel your breath within this pose. One more big breath in and big breath out. Then slowly rise into a tabletop on your hands and knees. From your tabletop, thread your right arm underneath all the way until you're lying down on your right shoulder and your right temple comes down to the mat. And you're welcome to keep your hips high or if you want to modify, you can take your hips down low. Relax into the place that serves you best and feel your breath creating space between your shoulder blades and in your upper back. Now de-thread the needle, placing your right hand back on the mat and thread your left arm underneath. Coming all the way through till your left shoulder is down, hips high or hips low, depending on what you did on the other side. Breathe. and de-thread the needle. From your tabletop, let's move into puppy dog pose. Keep your hips high as you walk your hands forward, melting your chest and your forehead down towards the mat. This should feel really good, if not really intense. So take it slow and ease your body into position as your shoulders open, your chest relaxes, and your breath Create space and releases tension. and slowly rise into a tabletop on your hands and knees. And from your tabletop, extend your right foot back, drive through your right heel so that you can feel a lengthening through the back of your right leg and especially in your right calf. And be mindful that you're not dumping your chest and your head down towards the mat. Everything is lifting and active in this pose. So switch legs, left leg extends back, extending through your heel, toes still touching the mat so that you can find a lengthening in the back of your left calf, maybe even in your left hamstring. Then come back to your tabletop and step your right foot towards the top of your mat. If your foot gets stuck on the mat, that's okay. Just grab your ankle with your hand and pull it up so that your right knee is above your right ankle. And with your back knee down, just sink into your hips. 
and if it feels good, let your head hang heavy. And notice how your breath inflating and deflating your torso feels within this pose, creating space, releasing tension, especially in your hips that can get so tight from being curled up all day. Now toe heel your front foot to the right just a couple of inches so you can place both hands inside of your right ankle. And sink even deeper into your hips. And you're always welcome to explore movement. So if it feels good here, try just swaying side to side, bobbing in and out or even adding a little bit of neck movement, whatever feels good, for about three more deep breaths. Coming out, make your way back to your tabletop. And take any movement that feels good before we switch sides. Then when you're ready, step your left foot forward. Remember you can assist by grabbing your ankle with your hand to pull it up. And make your way into a low lunge on your left side. First, starting with your left knee above your left ankle, hands on both sides. Just sink into your hips. Focus on any connection between your deep breath and the sensation you feel. Be mindful that even your upper body is relaxed. Then just like the other side, Toe heel your front foot to the left just a couple of inches so you can place both hands inside. Then sink even deeper. For just a couple more breaths. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Make your way back to tabletop and add some big hip circles, inviting extra movement into your hips and lower back. Then switch direction. Then from here, come to stand on your mat and separate your feet about four or five feet wide for a wide leg fold. Make sure that your toes are turning in towards each other. Take your hands to your hips and big breath in to puff up your chest. As you breathe out, hinge from your hips and fold forward. Use your hands to support your balance. And even walk your hands forward just a couple of inches so that your hips can be positioned over your ankles. Observe and appreciate the sensation you feel in the back of your legs, your inner thighs, along your back, and even some of that pressure in your head.
There is a lot going on in a pose like this. A deep forward fold, a lot of tension releasing. It's also an inversion where your head is below your heart. So do your best to breathe and stay calm and trust that over time, your body will relax deeper into this pose. It might even start to feel good. And the congestion might even begin to clear. So breathe, relax, and we'll be here for one more minute. Allow your neck to relax so your head can hang heavy. Let go. For just a few more deep breaths. Almost there. Take a big breath in and big breath out. And using your hands to support you, toe heel your feet back towards each other and take a seat on your mat. And come to lie down on your back. From your back, bring your right knee towards your chest and clasp your fingers underneath your right shin or right thigh. With your left leg long down on the mat, take a few deep breaths deep into your belly, into your lower back. Using this breath to help massage your internal organs and improve digestion. Adding on, extend your right arm straight out from your side, then take a big inhale to turn your chin to the right. As you exhale, draw your right knee across your body for a supine spinal twist. There's no need to force yourself in this twist. Once you're there, just let go and use your deep breath to soften your torso. Slowly melt tension wherever you feel it. And we'll be here for a little bit of time, so just relax, breathe, and rest. Take one more big breath in and big breath out. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Curl your right arm back in and come back to center. Switch legs. Extend your right leg long down on the mat as you pull your left knee in. And just hold on to your left shin or your left thigh, taking a few deep breaths into your lower belly, into your lower back, using this breath to help massage and stimulate digestion. Feel your belly pressing into your thigh. Feel sensation in your lower back. 
Feel the inflation and deflation of your whole torso. Adding on, extend your left arm straight out from your side. Inhale to turn your chin to the left and exhale, draw your left knee across your body. Settle into your twist, knowing that it takes time to soften into place. So release any forcing or pulling and just relax. You're exactly where you need to be. Too often people find themselves giving and giving and giving and never ever giving to themselves. You've heard that term, you've got to fill your cup before you can pour out to anybody else. Well, here's that lesson. Fill your cup, deepen your breath. You're exactly where you need to be. Draw your navel in and come back to center. Then place your feet flat on the mat with your knees bent Lift your hips up into a bridge pose and slide your bolster or maybe a couple of pillows underneath your hips as a support. Gently pull your knees into your chest for a propped version of full wind pose. Even though your body is small and compact in this posture, breathe deep. And feel your lower back relaxing, tension slowly releasing. Even your hip flexors are beginning to soften as your knees melt down towards your chest. Mindfully, begin to extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling, lower back still supported by your prop. This is a propped variation of legs up the wall. Appreciate the sensation as the fluid drains from your legs and it might feel good to even wiggle around your toes, roll out your ankles. This very gentle inversion does so many good things for your body, especially when you need a little assistance with getting your blood flowing and fluids moving. So allow your legs to drain for just a few more deep breaths. Then one at a time, bend your knees and place your feet flat on the mat, knees bent. Lift your hips up and use your hands to push your bolster further down towards your ankles so that you can place your lower back down onto your mat. And your knees are now supported by your prop. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open So your legs are supported in this butterfly position. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and with your eyes gently closed, take a few deep breaths. Relax. Namaste.